Hello everyone and welcome to another video where I will show you how to install Pokemod for TCG Card Shop Simulator. Now there is a new version for any anyone who has already installed the previous version. This one is version 4.3 and it makes the installation slightly easier so I figured it would be a good idea to make a new video about that. I'm gonna try and go slow because I know a lot of people have been having some trouble and if you find it too slow then just watch it in two times speed. I don't know what to say but I'm not gonna apologize for going slow guys so just bear with me. Okay. So the first thing I want you guys to do is make a folder on your desktop. You can call it whatever you want. I call mine TCG mods. This is where I'm going to download all the files from Nexus mods. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is go to your browser and you want to go to nexusmods.com. The next thing you want to do is go to search, type in Pokemod and hit enter. Now you can see Pokemod here by Red Hex. I'm going to click on that. Now this is the mod page. There's three steps to installing this mod, and you can see them down here in the requirements. The first step is to download Bepin EX, which is the mod manager. The second step is to download Texture Replacer. And the third step is to download the mod itself. So we're going to do this one at a time. So the first step, as I said, is install Bepin EX. So I'm going to right click on here, or you can do middle mouse if you want. And I'm going to open this in a new tab. I'm going to go to that new tab. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on files here. Now you'll see there's a button that says manual download. You do not need a premium Nexus mods account to download mods. Do not pay for anything. You can download it for free. I'm going to click manual download and it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to save it in this TCG mods folder that I made on my desktop. I'm not going to change the name. I'm just going to hit save. Once it's done, you'll see it in the TCG mods folder. It's a zip file. You want to right click on it, go to extract all, extract it will extract the files and it'll pop up this window i'm just going to close the window and i'm going to delete the zip file the compressed zip file that we downloaded just to make things simpler this is the folder now that you will have okay so the next step is to go into steam go to your tcg card shop simulator game you want to right click on tcg card shop simulator on the left hand side go to manage Go to browse local files. This will open up your Steam folder where the game lives. It's in Steam Apps Common TCG Card Shop Simulator. Okay. Now I did a fresh install of the game. So if you guys have any issues with this, I recommend uninstalling the game and reinstalling it just to make sure that everything is fine. And if there's any Bepin EX folders or anything in here already, you want to just delete those. Okay, now I don't have any, so I'm just going to continue. So the next step is you, you'll see this cardshopsimulator.exe folder. This is where you want to paste the files in this same spot here. So I'm going to go back to my TCG mods folder. I'm going to click once into this folder, and then you'll see a whole bunch of files here. Okay, I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to control C to copy. I'm going to go back to the other folder, the TCG Card Shop Simulator folder in Steam. And I'm going to paste Control V those files in here. It might ask you to replace files. If it does, just say yes. OK, so first step is done. Now what you want to do is make sure that you installed Bepin EX properly. So I'm just going to run the game. I'm going to load my save. Now remember, this is a fresh install. All I have done is installed Bepin EX. If I press F1, this will pop up. This will not pop up if you have not installed Bepin EX properly. Keep that in mind. I'm going to close that. This is how I know Bepin EX is installed properly. I'm going to get out of the game now, and we're going to move on to the second step. So I'm going to go back to my browser. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close the Bepin EX window because we don't need that anymore. Now I'm back to the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon tab. The next step is to install Texture Replacer. So I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, open a new tab or middle mouse button to open it in a new tab if you want to do it that way. Texture Replacer is here. You want to go down. Now in the requirements, it says you need Bepin EX, which we already did. So I'm going to go to Files. I'm going to click Manual Download once again. I'm going to download. And I'm going to save it to my TCG Mods folder, just like I did before. Once it's done, I'm going to go back to the TCG Mods folder and you'll see Texture Replacer here. If you are in the Bepin EX folder, then you're going to want to go back one 
and that's how you'll get back to the TCG mods folder. Now I'm going to right click on the texture replacer zip file. I'm going to extract all and press extract. I'm going to close this window and again I'm going to delete the zip file just to keep things clean. Okay. Now texture replacer needs to go inside a specific folder in the Bepin EX folder that you had before. So I'm going to click in here once. I'm going to copy this texture replacer folder or you can just do control C. And then I'm going to go to the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, TCG Car Shop Simulator folder. Now you want to click inside the Bepin EX folder. Click inside plugins and you want to paste that file that you just copied, control V, right into there. So now you have texture replacer inside Common, TCG Car Shop Simulator, Bepin EX plugins. Okay, so that step is now done. If you want to verify that this is done, you can go back into the game and press F1 and you'll see, actually I'll just show you. Go back into the game, I'm going to press F1 and you can see now Texture Replacer 1.03 is here. That's how you know that you've installed Texture Replacer properly. Now the last step, I'm going to go back to the browser. I'm going to close this tab for Texture Replacer, don't need it anymore. And now we are at the Pokemod step. So I'm going to go to files on the Pokemod page. I'm going to press manual download once again. I'm going to download it to my TCG mods folder. I'm going to save it. This one's a little bit larger, so it might take a bit. Once it's done, I'm going to go back to TCG mods folder. And here I have Pokemod now, version 4.3. I'm going to right click, extract all, extract. And once again, it'll take a little bit because it's a big file. Once it's done, I'm going to close this. I'm going to delete the zip file once again. Now I'm going to go into the folder, click in once, and you'll see this TCG Car Shop Simulator folder. I'm going to control C to copy it. I'm going to go to my other folder where I have the Steam files. I'm going to go back to common. Okay, so you're now you're in Steam, Steam Apps Common. You'll see there's a TCG Car Shop Simulator folder here. I'm going to paste it into there. Now it might ask you to replace some files. If it does, just say yes. And you should have installed that properly now. So once again, inside Common, you want to replace this TCG Car Shop Simulator folder with the TCG Car Shop Simulator folder that you copied from here, from your TCG Mods folder. Okay. Now I'm going to open the game once again. Now if you see this Pokemod by Red Hex background, you know you've installed it correctly. Another way you know that it's installed correctly is when you load your game, you'll see this Pokemon card here. Now I've loaded in and you can see it is now all installed. I've got the Pokemon sign out here. I've got all of the, the products are showing up correctly, all the plushies. And the cards over here, the card packs, if I open one. You'll see the cards are all there. And there's also the new update added comic books and stuff. So I haven't actually um, done any of that, but that should also be working fine. So that's it. That's how you install the mod and all the files that are needed for it. Now some troubleshooting stuff. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, if you see that your game is crashing at 16% or whatever, the game's not loading, the best thing to do is to uninstall the whole game reinstall it and redo the steps from the beginning just like I did. Number two, the music that was in the previous versions is not actually in this version anymore. Red Hex removed the music to make the mod simpler and easier to download or smaller or whatever. So the music is gone. Okay, so the default music is, is the way it's supposed to be. The third problem that people usually have is they don't see the mod because they haven't installed Bepin EX properly. So again, if you don't see the F1 menu, go back and redo those steps. Uninstall everything, redo those steps. Make sure that you go in and check to see if the F1 menu is loading in. And if you don't see Texture Replacer in here after you install Texture Replacer, then you've done something wrong in that step as well. So that's it. If you guys have any other problems and you've installed it perfectly fine, it's likely that there was an update to the game or an update to the mod. So it should be, it should be future-proofed. So it should work even if there is an update, but if it doesn't, just check to see if Bepin EX was updated, check to see if Texture Replacer was updated, check to see if the Pokemod mod has been updated as well. 
If you verified that everything is up to date, then it should work. Also keep in mind that the mods do not auto update, so you have to manually update them on your own. Also keep in mind that this does not work with the prologue version. The prologue version is the free version of this game that you can just preview. This will not work there. Steam Deck, I think it works. I don't know for sure. I haven't done it. I don't have a Steam Deck myself. So if you have successfully installed it on Steam Deck, then you know, let me know in the comments. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this has helped you guys with the new version 4.3. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.